Good afternoon, three cushion fans. We are back in Sharm El Sheikh for the second semi final. It's the last day of the sixth World Cup of 2022. We had a European semi final just now between Marco Zanetti and Dani Sanchez. And we are about to get started with the Korean semi final between Chang Hon Seo and Myung Woo Cho. And I think most of us know Myung Woo Cho a little better, so I'm gonna ask Torbjorn, have you ever played Chang Hon Seo? Yes, a couple of times. And uh, yeah, he's a very capable player, he's an interesting history. He was a soccer player. Tried to interview him yesterday uh, with the help of Myung Woo to translate, but turned out none of them spoke any useful English. So I found a Korean who speaks German. So what I found out is that Chang Hun So was registered as a three cushion player when he was 29 years old and now he's 41 so <laughs> he's a pretty new player played soccer until he was 23 had played billiards before as a 14 year old on small tables but actually started three cushion when he was 27 and registered as a tournament player 29 years of age this is his best world cup by far played some impressive wow. matches and yesterday he kicked out the strong Vietnamese Kuya Chin Tran who had made such an impression against Peter Kölemans. So big victory for Seo. Never before in a quarterfinal even, now he's in the semi-final with a chance at playing a World Cup final. But he'll have to get past one of the greatest talents in the world, Myung Woo Cho. Played a really good leg, both of them. Very close to the short rail. Myung Woo the winner. He likes to shoot the ball. He doesn't really like to shoot softly. But he is, of course, very capable of that too. But he prefers to have little movement among the balls. Has been in wonderful shape here throughout this tournament. 2.4 average in the group, three wins. Fantastic performance, trailing Dani. 37-30 and running out with a 10. We've been saying for years this guy will win World Cups, this guy will be world champion one day. Maybe this is maybe this is the time it could be. I've but been saying that for five years, but then his military service came yeah, in between. He, he uh, lost two years there. Covid and military service. Yes, all that together. Way. just doesn't miss much and he also seems to have the temperament not just the incredible stroke and the fluency but he plays matches well doesn't panic Already off to a good start. And this will be the first tester now. He'd like to do what what Sanchez did. An eleven in the first inning. That'll make you feel good. Most difficult shot until now. He makes that one too. Wrong-handed one coming up. Maybe. Very tough to reach, but I think he'll go for it.
perfect technique mixed with a good understanding of the game and some hours of practice uh, I was thinking the exact same thing some hours of practice to say the least and he makes everything look easy he doesn't waste any time so we might have a longer break before the final to save our voices short short long here the highest percentage shot no kisses oh he plays it softly it's going to be good full hit on the yellow gives perfect position And I think for most of our viewers, if they had made this run, they would say that's the best run I've made in my life. Oh, he even says sorry that he didn't score on three cushions directly. This can come up short on these tables. Short cushion turning. Yes. So that's the end of the run. Ten points for... Kind of feel that he missed the wrong shot there. That one was so nicely placed. Actually a gigantic mistake. But he's happy with 10. It's a good first inning. Korean versus Korean. Tiki shot from the red, nice. One. As all Koreans, very good at all cushion first shots. One cushion first, two cushions first, three cushions first. Se seven cushions first. Seven cushions you first. You name it. They are brilliant at it. With English, without English, with reverse English. The whole repertoire. Needs a full corner here. Two. Good shot. Absolutely no doubt about the third rail. You can see it in the change of movement of the yellow. Not equipped with a perfect stroke, but he has a very good mentality. He's, uh, he's cool and always ready to perform, sometimes with a little smile on his face and seem, seems very relaxed. We saw a very nice replay of his kind of swinging, cueing movement. What is very good in his game is, is his left hand. It's very firm, always stays there after the shot. Little mistake here. He went too deep in the corner. Wanted to be absolutely certain he wouldn't go long. And as a result, he hit like two rails almost at the same time or maybe the long rail just first even the long first yes so that shot didn't come off and he'll have to do the same thing that Michael Zanetti had to do against Sanchez repair the damage done by that first very strong inning Marco responded really well and he even had the lead for a little bit. At at one moment it seemed like he was the dominating player but 
exactly then Danny kind of grid his teeth and and uh, accelerated again. Yeah, very strange, uh, strange development of that game. And here comes the most wonderful fluke I've seen in in several hours. Certainly the fluke of the day. And the wrong player gets it. I think he's the favorite here, so <laughs> I would hope for Chang Hun Seo to, to ge get a little bit lucky here in the beginning of the match. But Here comes the bow. He takes it. An extra deep one for this shot because it was not a little itty bitty fluke, it was a monster. And this is a very nice little shot. Is it short enough? Oh, yes. Putting the yellow in that golden spot. He should mark that spot with a with a piece of chalk or something and let players practice mm. just putting the yellow exactly there. Yeah, put it on on the X. X marks the spot. No spin here. Four. Which makes it easier to hit. And he gets a little lucky here. This position was not planned. That's a gift from the balls. So first a fluke and now yellow just squeezes through there for... You mean the white? Yeah, Yeah, white, sorry. Yeah. There's a new, new, uh, new flaw here. Color blindness white. between yellow and white. It doesn't exist, but I just invented it. It must be horrible to be colorblind and be a snooker player. Yeah, or a, or a driver. You're going to be confused, especially between the brown and the reds, I think, in snooker. And the red and the green, that is the most, most common color blindness between red and green. Six. Can't use that in court, though, if you drive on red. I don't think so. as excuse. So it's going and going and going, this young man, maybe sooner than we can say something, he will win a tournament. What about today? Our friend and colleague William O would say he can still make world record. Anytime a Korean player has 29 or more points left, William will say he can still make record. Yeah, optimism is a virtue. He wants to play five cushions here, but six is also an option. Short yeah, he goes for is. six. He goes for six, I think. Is it short enough? This could be in the hole. It is in the hole. I don't. I'm not even sure if he so tried. Seven. Maybe he even tried five cushions because it was really close on five little jump in the cue ball. With that much English, I think he tried five, but yeah, we will not know until after the match we can interview him. But didn't he have a safe shot to the long rail? The extra rail? Like yeah. a little, little bit shorter than this? It looked easier than that, but a yeah. little bit mystery. I'm very sorry for criticizing a guy who makes 17 points in two innings. I shouldn't do that, maybe. Yeah, but we are we are slaves of objectiveness. Yes. So but his seven run there was a little fortunate with a gigantic fluke there on the way, one of the first couple of shots. So and the good position that was gifted to him. Cannot allow himself to make too many mistakes here, Chang Hun. <coughs> 41 is a nice edge for a three cushion player. It's mature enough to have developed your mental capabilities and knowledge of the game. 
it's not so old that you get to pay the price for age. He still has many years ahead of him, Chang On. And he's very fresh, uh, only 12 years uh, as a registered player, so not uh, not carrying a lot of baggage of missed opportunities and, and Disappointments. lost finals and and which can which can be heavy to carry sometimes. He will be unhappy with his last shot because he missed that by quite a way. What? Another little piece of luck for Young Wu. Very small touch on the yellow by the red ball. Did not cost him the point. I'm surprised he played so thin on that ball. He could have played full ball and, and get it out of the way. Yeah, with a draw or some extra speed maybe, but Two. bank shots are sure points for most Koreans, seems like. And certainly those because he had a nice line, nice reliable line. The further away you are from the first rail you hit, the more reliable the line is. If you're really close to a rail, all systems go out the window. Except for a frozen cue ball, of course, because then you have to elevate the cue, the butt of the cue to get, get out the spin, and then you curve the cue ball. That, that is also a little bit of a problem for calculating bank shots, but anything not frozen is, is very good. This is a very good shot. Looked simple, but it wasn't. And we're going to have to see something good because this is not a pick me up, not a gimme. Wrong handed. Short, long, long. Seems to be nothing wrong with his wrong, uh, wrong handed shots. Perfect until now. Could we have the mid-match break after three innings? It all depends on this shot, which is not an easy one. I'm just speculating here, but this guy is producing points with such ease. Mm, this one with the curve to the long cushion. Yeah, nice. Mr. Long Rail. So I jinxed him. Well done, Bert. We have a match. If he makes that, that one and goes to 28-5 in the break, maybe it's maybe it's already over. Well, he has 21 points, so to quote William O, he can still make record. Yeah. And this this player can make an even better record. If he runs out now two world records. Now let's stay with both feet on the ground as Jung Wo Cho gets a difficult position to negotiate. For those of you who may not get our insider jokes, we are talking of course about the world record high run of 28. And it's such an old record, it was first made in 1993, so People keep talking about it. When will somebody run 29 after 29 years? I did like that line, but <laughs> you had to be fairly deep in the corner to get it, to get off the long rail again.
Not bad at all. Unlucky to get the red ball to go twice across and just stick to the cushion. Did everything right there. Except maybe for the second ball, but you're concentrating on the point, of course, if it's as difficult as that. Yeah, this is not easy. I think he has to go off the white here to the short cushion, even with reverse English. Bit of a curve. Oh, maybe no spin. Big swing there in the short cushion, as always. What? Somehow they always end up short. You think you've done enough? Nope. Short again. Another tester here for Myungwoo. Try to find the corner. Easier. He was did well. It <laughs> was easier than it looked like. Didn't need a corner there, just put some spin on the cue ball, it was safe. Apologize for our poor judge judgment sometimes. I always blame it on the monitor, Torbjorn. Yeah, especially the top camera is yes. sometimes uh, fooling us. It's not a joke, it's true. The billiard, of course, is twice as long as it is wide so we can call that three by six and the monitor is three by five so there is some distortion in the image we are seeing and we are getting used to it so the predictions get a little bit better but sometimes you think a shot is going to be short and it makes or you think it's going to be making and it's long there is a little bit distortion in our view That didn't turn as much. He's normally very good at that shot. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be bothered by cue balls close to the cushions or anything. Always stroking easily. So has a little bit of Zanetti in him in the way he holds the cue. But actually a much better left hand. Marco's left hand is almost flying always flying away when he shoots or always moving. This player has a very firm left hand. It never moves. It just stays as it's as if it's glued to the table. Much more important than you think than you might think. Cross table. Yeah, no problems. Never in doubt that one. We still need still need to discover this player which is an unwritten <coughs> an unwritten page. A blank. A blank page for many people. We don't know him this well, but he's a big name in Korea. At one point, the number one on the Korean ranking. Won three tournaments in a row in Korea, and that says something, because those tournaments had players in them like Heyo and Hangji Kim. His opponent of today, Myung Woo Cho, I think he played in these events, maybe he still had military service, I'm not really sure, but so many good players in Korea and nobody had ever won three tournaments straight in Korea. So he was the first one to do that. I think we can already state that he has one advantage, he's really, really relaxed doesn't seem to be disturbed by the importance of the moment. No, very little stress in his uh, in his game. 
appears to be enjoying himself. And the win over Tran was really quite impressive because we were praising Tran for his amazing performance against Peter Kodemans. What a match that was. For those of you who haven't seen it, Kodemans started with an early run of 16 <laughs> in that match. Great shot here with, with the reverse English. Avoiding that kiss. Wonderful line he created there. And Tran responded to the 16 with a 22 and a 13 to win. So three double digit runs, as you call them, in one match. And, and they say that Tran went 22, 0 and 13 out. Correct. So 35 points in the last three innings. Careful with that kiss. You have to play that on three cushion. Don't risk the five cushion. Difficult to reduce the spin that much to make it on three. I know, but that kiss is so dangerous. He couldn't resist the temptation to go five rails and he paid the price. 23-11 still, let's say only only 12 points behind could have been worse and he gets another chance before the break young Wu playing this one maybe a little too well missing it on the professional side and put too much draw on it but he misses by nothing so should we criticize that? But it, it was a bank shot, which Koreans always make, almost. Who is the greatest banker in the world, in the game? Well, I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I shouldn't have asked. Difficult, difficult to say. So many. Hengji Kim is fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic. Let me rephrase the question. After you, who's the greatest no, bank no on no the no game? No, no, no. That's, I make a lot of bank shots, but uh, I'm sure there are other people stronger than me. But I think we have to look to Asia. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I don't know, Europe. Hmm. Among the top top 30 in the world. Surely there are some Franz van Kerk something, but he never plays any tournament, so I don't know if he, we should include him. I think Franz van Kerk is one of the best in the world in two rails first shots. He makes amazing shots, two rails, ball, third rail, point. Wonderful player. And then we have a lot of players very good at three cushion bank shots, guys with good systems, but many of European players are not so good at tickies and one cushion first, two cushion first, and where the Koreans are the strongest. One. Good touch there from So Chang Hun. He'll be happy with that one. Didn't hit his shot perfectly, but just got a touch. And as so often, making a thin point will give you position. You can't play for that. It's never an intended position because you'd be a fool to try for thin hits on the third ball. That would be suicide. But when you get the thin hit on the third ball, quite often the balls open up for you. And you can continue your run. Something else I, I forgot to say about what we know about this player. He's, he has a very, very good position play. So when he gets the balls into position, he, he can hold on to positions in a, in a very good way. It's a big quality to have.
And like most Koreans, he's brave, not afraid of going for technically difficult shots. Although his, as we have seen, his technique is not really perfect. His right hand, his queuing arm has strange little curve. And sometimes even not so little. But this one he played with a lot of confidence. And unlucky. Yeah, still, still he has a shot. Could have worked out so much better for him. He has a shot here. It's, it's a spectacular one, but it's pretty okay. He can play short, short, long of the red. We wanted to play it really nice and soft. Needed a little bit more draw to make that line. I have to say thank you here to Dirk Rostek in Germany sending some information to us here that uh, we didn't mention. Chang Hun Seo, he, he was a partner of uh, Hengji Kim in Fearson this year. Playing for Korea already in the national team at the World Championship. So he has had some experience in his young career. They have sent quite a few different players to Fearson, the Koreans. I think they follow the ranking list yes. pretty strict. Yes, it's not like, uh, what example should I mention, like Sweden, Blomdal Nilsson. Yeah, almost, almost sure. They do different things, different teams in every year. The we had uh, Jay Gwen Kim in uh, Viersen, they won it. Not with uh, not a with Choi or yeah. was it with Choi? I'm so bad at statistics, I leave that to you, but uh, I don't remember stuff. That was a very small rail he was aiming for, that third rail. But he has this automatic speed control. Turn it into a defensive shot. Miss it on the long side if you miss it. I think we're going to see a cushion first shot here. This is just a knowledge shot. How hard, how much draw, how much spin. Much harder than I thought. Yeah. The it angle required some some draw and you, you cannot so really play with that much draw so you need the speed to help. I've learned something. Very good shot. Full hit on the third ball or let's say the second object ball. Another four cushion here. Very makeable. Seems like the first object ball every time goes to the cushion <laughs> when you play this shot. Happens again. Not happy with the result, but he's only seven points behind here and, and he is still having a good chance in this match. Even with that blinding start of Myung Woo Cho. Not a good one. Very good. We yes. also mentioned the, the Viersen tournament yesterday when Jakob Haag Sørensen was guest commentator and he reminded me that the year he won it with Dion Nellen, Dion was only 18 Yeah. when they won Viersen. Dion and, Dion and Danny Sanchez, they were fantastic at a very young age. Prodigies. Danny also, he was just, he was never mediocre, he was, he came on the scene and he was good, almost world class. And that's not a good shot by, so 
should have given that maybe a little bit more care and attention. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't spin the cue ball. That angle, just full hit and full spin and slow down the cue ball and let it spin. With that white ball position, it's better to play like that, I would say. 24-18. It's just, it's a match. For a little while, it looked like Cho was running away with it. But no, it's a match. You have the statistics. Has Myung Wo Cho played a semi final in the World Cup already? Twice. He has Twice. two bronze medals in World Cups. But not in a World Championship? No. No medal in the World Championship? No. So that means he's not new in this situation, but he he didn't reach a final. So if he wins this match, it'll be a first for yeah. him. First just chance at the big one. I'm just thinking if he might start thinking. And again, Seo playing this in the same rhythm, in the same speed. Very difficult open four rail shot. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He should take a little more time for those. Somebody dropped a glass or whatever. Or no, maybe I think a, a lamp. A, a lamp, lamp burst. Exploded. Yeah. Draw shot here with full spin. I think this has has it. Does it have enough spin to go long? Yeah. A few small mistakes creeping into Myung Woo Cho's game, who appeared to be doing everything right on autopilot in the first few innings. Now his autopilot is not working perfectly anymore. Maybe the 18 points made by his opponent have something to do with it. He's making his presence felt. Yeah, he doesn't throw in the towel here. He just keeps on grinding and... Very good. This is a fantastic shot. Gets a good hit. But this this queuing is not S fantastic. No. No uh, surprise that he mishits balls sometimes. I was going to say the same thing. You see the movement in the elbow. And it's often an indicator, the elbow, that something is not quite right, technically. Compensates with confidence and coolness. Yeah, this is like a walk in the park for him, the shot. He just takes the chalks and takes the chalk and, and walks to the next shot. He yeah, he makes many points just very easily. Does he have a shot off the wide? I, d I don't think so, but yeah, he but seems to think so. Well he can miss it, no problem. Probably going to be a bad position for I his opponent. It's it's playable. Three. No, he makes it. Very nice. And he has a five or seven cushion here with with some possible kisses. I'm impressed. Twenty four twenty one. We we don't know the record between these players. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's an angst gegner. Maybe Cho didn't win against him for for, for some matches. Yeah, it's possible. He's not going for the five or seven railer you talked about. This is also very playable. Like that, a clad de B, like you say. Don't need to push with spin or draw or anything. Are we allowed to use French expressions? Well, maybe if you'll explain what a clad de B is. I, I can't. I don't have any explanation. I don't have any English translation for that. It's like uh, the the bouncing of balls. The collision of balls is the literal literal translation. 
So a clutter B means you use the natural resistance of the second ball to change the line of the cue ball. Did he put too much draw on this one? No, he, no, has, he it. has it. Nice. Very good shot and he's just one point behind. My goodness, we could have a new leader in the match with that blinding start of Myung Woo Cho. I'm impressed. This was a very good shot. Well judged. It looked like he's going to be too long all the time, but he, he knew it. And you said earlier that the short rail does turn quite a bit. Yeah, I was surprised that this one was even close. And he you even remember made the shot that Myung Woo Cho missed in the first inning? I think the twelfth, where he played the four yeah. rail. Yeah, yeah, four rail. And he got, you know, he got a little bit surprised about the amount of turn from the short rail, the fourth rail, the short rail. Yeah, and this also going to score? No, no, no not that one. That's not going to turn. Safety shot, but he leaves a bank shot. Twenty-four, twenty-three in eleven. Good stuff. Myung Woo Cho not putting on a glove for a wrong handed shot. Needed the red ball first there. No yeah. way to score from yellow. I don't think so, so still very close but he has cooled off significantly. And what he scores there is a goal. In Soccer World Cup times. Good comparison. And by the way, uh, congratulations to the great fight for your Dutch team yesterday against Argentina. Oh, did we play? yesterday no. yeah play you tried but uh, in uh, the end uh, you you put a put in a, in a good fight i must have missed that that one not really close so as you say yeah i, I think he could have could have gotten a little closer on that one Defensive, but this is shots good creeping shot. into the match. Good shot for Myungwo. This one, speed shot. Fantastic. Full hit on the yellow. Impressive. So if you play safe against him, don't leave bank shots and don't leave these cross table things. Because he's going to make them. There's the curve. <laughs> so nice. I never believed in that one. Two, one. That looked iffy. So we are going to have a short break. Midway match. Young Wu Cho on 25. Chang Hong Se on 23. We'll be back in a few minutes. Don't go away. won the World Cup in Charlottesville. <laughs> Semi Saigon wins his seventh.
Turn on the mic and don't say anything. Cool. We are back in Charmel Chaik for the second half of the match between Chang Hon Seo and Myung Wu Cho. Fantastic start by the young of the, the the younger of the two Koreans. Great fight back by the older of the two. It's 25-23 in 12. Are you ready for a uh, prediction, Torbjörn? Yes, it's impossible to predict how this is going to go. The last couple of innings, So Chang Hun has been the better player. Myung Woo cannot really continue his his wonderful run which he has had throughout the whole tournament he kind of went a little dry here in the last couple of innings which raises the question about his nervous costume also a few mistakes creeping in not just difficult positions but he did leave a few opportunities unused I like this shot. He went full white ball through the ball. <laughs> so confident and kind of he knew exactly what to do there. Knowledge, full of knowledge, the player. Which he has to be because we've already seen his stroking is not perfect. You have to compensate that with something. This is long. Ay. What have you left? And will you be punished? Didn't miss by much, but he went really quickly to the ball and was confident. Sometimes overconfident. That's also a possibility. You can go here with a big stroke, I think. Going into the corner. He thought he could get there, and he was absolutely right, with a margin even. He's almost perfect when he uses little speed or half speed, but when he shoots full power, he's always perfect. You never, you'll never see him miss those cannons. Not such a good contact with the yellow there, but the red saves him, gives him a chance here for left side of red, three cushions. Yeah, I have seen I have seen Cho sometimes, I, I don't know, but I think he gets a little worried, a little disturbed by the importance of the moment sometimes. But he can always rely on his wonderful stroke, so shouldn't. There shouldn't be much to worry about, actually, but you never know what's going on inside the heads of the players. And some hide it better than others. For his opponent, I think he would do well to vary his pace of play a little bit, to pace himself. It's almost as if he forces himself to play every shot in the same amount of time. Maybe he's too relaxed. Yes. Takes a look, shoots. Yes. It'll be fine. And he also does that when the situation is critical or complicated or difficult or high pressure. And like, like Jaspers, he should you know, recognize those moments where you have to force yourself to not shoot. Give it some thought, because it needs thought. And then you have the other uh, side of the medal, like Frederick Codron. Everybody knows him. He says privately to me that the longer he looks at the ball, the more difficult it seems. So <laughs> let's shoot. Nikos Polychronopoulos, exactly the same. Exactly the the same. longer he looks yes. at a ball, yes. the more difficult it will look. So, 
I, I, c I perfectly understand those those feelings. I Maybe there's a bit of truth in both. I feel on some positions I feel exactly the same, but then there are other positions where you really need to invest some time to, to study the, the shot. It's the marriage between the two brain halves, the analytical half and the intuitive half. Yeah, so, so Chang Hun uh, doesn't seem to have uh, fulfilled that marriage yet. And the better you marry those two brain halves, the better player you will become. Wasn't that too thin? No, way too thin. That was a very big mistake for, for his doing. He missed that by a country mile. I've tried to find out about some head-to-head -head, uh, results between these two players, but uh, only unofficially that Cho won most of the matches. Uh, there should be one win for this player, mm -hmm. but this is unofficial. White ball deep in the corner, small target cost him didn't put enough draw there on the cue ball into the cue ball maybe is more correct and he missed a high speed shot that's seldom But who can blame him? The cue ball position was lousy. was horrible. Out of the corner from distance. Now the fact that these yeah. Korean guys play most of their tournaments, or maybe all of them, to 30 points, is that a factor that they're now playing to 50? No, they're actually playing World Cup system in their tournaments. 40 points in the earlier rounds and then 50 towards uh, f starting uh, in the quarterfinal, I think. So they've changed it because for many years the Korean tournaments were 30 points. 30 on. points, yes. But I think this is like before the pandemic, they adapted to 40 and 50. And I think they start 50 at the quarterfinal, maybe around over the last 16. 50 points is, of course, not a lot for Young Woo Cho. He will play practice matches to, to uh, I don't know, 100, three times a day. If you play for 10 hours. Yeah, I was wondering, what is he going to do with that kiss? Didn't feel like playing the draw shot there. To me, it looked like a kiss that could not be avoided. No, but this, this I was not going to say it because I was afraid to be very wrong. I'm with you there. I don't think you could have avoided that one. Interesting statistic. We should have, like in, in, in some sports, especially in the United States, they have statistics about everything. It would be nice to know which player has the lowest number of kisses in a year. Mm -hmm. I'm always interested in stuff like that, but unfortunately I'm the only one who <laughs> keeps most statistics. We need a lot of personnel to, to, to follow all matches and all national leagues and stuff. It's of course impossible. But it's impossible. Such an interesting point in, in, in our game. Somebody once asked me, Bert, who has made the most flukes this year? As if I would know. No, there's a default answer. But let, let's not go into that. Okay, we'll not go into that. <laughs> oh, I know the default <laughs> answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of us two for somebody wondering. No. I'm closer than Bert. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have had my share of lucky shots in my life. I thank something or someone for that, but there are even more fortunate players. Follow through. Can he avoid the kiss? Probably can. No. Similar shot that we saw from the previous match, Marco against Dani. It was Marco who did that, yeah. I think. I'm not sure who, who it was, but it was exactly the same shot. And afterwards we said, okay, yeah, probably was di difficult to avoid. Line of the Cuba was good in this case as in the previous case. And still you have the kiss that means low chance. I think one of the most difficult things to do is not hit full ball and play run throughs. Yeah, the kind of ninety five percent hit on the oh on the object ball it's those are headache shots. Horribly difficult. Yes. These one these shots tend to go short on this table. He had it perfect, but I think he missed it. Missed missed by nothing. Unlucky to catch exactly that hit on the red because more ball or thinner makes a point. Unlucky. Maybe he shot with too much speed also. That's also possible. Now that's a good starter for Myung Woo Cho. An wow. almost unmissable little short angle. Tried to play the red to the corner and then except the distance between white and yellow. He's not going to play the draw shot, he's going to play cross table here, I think. No, he comes to draw. Full ball, spin the cue ball. Wow. Probably too long. He has overdone it with his mighty stroke unbelievable stroke what an what an attack how he accelerates the cue through the cue ball <laughs> half a meter of follow through the action on the cue ball is just unbelievable i think many artistic players would be delighted to be able to do that Must feel a little bit worried here, Cho, because he's not at all at the uh, average level. Now he had 21 points in three innings. So in the last 14 innings he has made 10, which for him is One. unheard of. Yeah, I'm, I'm comparing to his the rest of his matches in this tournament. He has been averaging like enormous averages well almost well in every match. Well over two. Yeah. So this is, of course, a crucial moment. We've lost a big lead. The other player is known to be pretty a cool. A grinder. A guy who doesn't let go. Bank shot here, important one. No. Two, one. Safety option, but still leaves a bank shot. That was pretty good position for that two cushion bank and he knows it. Bank shot, long cushion, red, short. Short. Zero. Just a little too much ball. He wanted long rail, red, back into the long rail, short rail, yellow. That was the idea. And a reasonable chance for Chang Hong. Let's see if he plays position here. He 
did try. He tr tried to put the weight there. Yeah, there is that golden spot again. He made it, but he, he missed the point. He did put it on the X. Exactly there where we have our imagined chalk mark. But you should never sacrifice the point for position. But I don't think that was a sacrifice because the shot did not become more difficult because he played it like, like that. So it was, it was the same. Perfectly legit. Well, what is this? How nice is that one? What a shot. Put him in trouble and he produces something like this. Wow. What a control. How did that not go over the red ball? I would expect it to get loads of English after two rails and then dive into the short rail and miss high. But maybe you can explain why he plays this poor shot. Yeah, I just hit it too thin. Yes. It was not such a bad position actually. Myung Woo Cho has significantly cooled off after his 21 and 3. Yeah, as as an as his opponent you should try to take care of this moment and let him sit a little bit longer in his chair and think about it. Think about it, worry about it. But that means you have to make this point. Uh. Four cushion bank shot, a very seldomly played shot. No. Slide. Wonderful. Oh. That's a beauty. And he doesn't get lucky. He could have could have had a nice position here, but it does not really happen for him. Should have had a nicer reward there, I I think. Short angle off the white still possible, but he's not gonna play that. He doesn't like it. Mm, that was wow. a delicate touch. Wow, what a sweet hit. Two. But unlucky again. Wow, he loses the red into the corner and that might end the inning for him. Or he finds a way to play off the red. Can you play some kiss shot there? No, 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 not possible. Aye. Bad news for Mr. Saw. So. Yeah. When you see this choice, you understand what a difficult position this is. Three cushion bank on the red. <laughs> Not a bad try. It would have been the point of the match and Probably the point of the day, had he made that one. And he needed, he needed just a couple of seconds to f to decide and find out and play. This is a good shot. Now again, I am amazed at the speed what? because he played it so slow. Yeah, you have to hit it perfectly to be still confident that it reaches. Slight miss hit, still cue ball is in the good line, but will always be too soft. What is this going to be? I can't see. Five, reverse five cushions with yes. reverse. Yeah. It's looking good. Wonderful. Two. Beautiful shot. What a great shot again. Missing some easier shots and making the difficult ones. It's also a way to collect points.
imagination, skill, courage. They all come together in a shot like that. So I think he may have found his second wind, second breath. Some great shots here back to back. No, this easy short angle here, or what do you call it? Yeah, this is the one we decided we were going to call the cross-cut shot. Yes. It's not really a short angle. But this is from yellow, right side. Absolutely. He can go left side also if he wants. Five rails. Goes right side. Thin with a draw. it much with much more speed than for example Marco Zanetti would have done or Dick Jaspers. It's one of the nice things about three cushion that you have different styles for different players, different things they're good at. This is a bit of a misjudgment shot he would expect to make. But he's back in the lead, 37 points to 28 in 20 innings. Work to be done for Chang Hoon. Yeah, he doesn't really get the easy positions here in the middle game. A little bit of adrenaline, adrenaline in the stroke. Adrenaline draw. Cost him. He can smile about it. Seems like a nice guy. Very friendly aura about him. One. This is interesting. Torben, what is he going to do from this position? Left side of yellow, I think. No. Right side of yellow. Yeah, to his right. Long, long, long. No. Sure. Very close. Good effort. Now this is more like a chance for Chang Hun. Not easy, but I think he can get a short, long, and so on. Shot in here. Short, long, short, long, and then scoring again from a long cushion, so a five or six cushion shot. Not sure where the white goes. Hope he is. He has the line. He slows down the white ball nicely. Perfect. But not a good contact with red. Can't see the white. He's a little bit unlucky here in, in these middle innings of the match. Worst, worst possible hit. On the red. Anything you can do? I don't think so. He had a fairly 
tricky line to make and he made it. Yeah, just a little bit more speed maybe yeah. could open up yeah. things. Up and down, deep in the corner. It's going to swing too much. And oh, that is a, a nice... Wonderful fluke. Nice lucky break for him. Oh, that could be important. Big miss. This is far away. And gets that nice little touch. And here comes the bow. Ah, hey, the hand. no bow. A Korean with a European, European hand gesture European instead style. of a bow. That's so interesting. And here is this uncomfortable four cushion shot again. Didn't so give it, give it enough. So often in the hole. So often in the hole. You're afraid to let it turn on the first short rail because you're afraid it will be short. And then you don't let it turn at all and you play it into the hole. Still in the match though, but I, I, I feel just one good inning and, and Cho is gone. Cho runs away with the match, yes. Oh, not even close. But this is the moment for for So to score some points and let his opponent think a little bit in the chair. But he needs the positions. But what a strange miss. Well, maybe he was afraid to use a little more ball because of the kiss, but sure. still he was too far away from the point. Cue ball position was also not so friendly. But these are the things that you might worry about when you feel worried and when, when everything is fine you just shoot and no problems. Little chance here for So Chang Hun to react but the position is terrible. He should play the draw shot back to the long cushion. Time out coming up. Yes, that would be my choice. The direct draw. I don't really like this one. I don't know. Maybe I see something wrong here. Should be a kiss. No kiss. But also no point. And the red is as big as a P there. So strange choice. He had the draw shot. Which is a much bigger ball. Just draw back from the white to the same long cushion. Not a bad try but very difficult to hit that red ball there. And Cho could make that decision hurt. Direct hit, of course, doesn't, doesn't attempt One. the five rail. You don't want to bring kisses into a shot if you can play it without kiss danger at all. Especially when the shot is not even more difficult than the other one. So in other cases you might you might try. He goes for a bank shot now. And that could be an important bank shot. Played it so well for the rest of the course of the match depending on how he can capitalize on it so didn't capitalize on his beautiful fluke that's that's going to be a factor Very close to a final now. Doesn't necessarily have to think about it, but... Yeah, I think we can call 
40th point to 50th point, the home stretch. So Joe is in the home stretch. Good and shot he here. Plays a great shot there. What Never a nice easy. shot. Controlled, controlled amount of English. Wow. I thought that was an impressive point. Again, we have to mention these shots that start with a short cushion have become the regular short angle shots uh, kind of people making them all the time now double the rail very very heavy contact there with the yellow might have been a little kick maybe he just missed it it was by a hair I was getting ready for the next point already. Almost certain he would have that, but he didn't. Seven cushion shot here from the red, I guess. Is that kiss free? Yeah, thin and with a draw, but that makes it so hard to control. Oh, he goes full through the ball. I'm not impressed. It's slow. Maybe a good decision and a not good enough stroke for that solution to work. No draw required, so pretty easy. Couple of options here. I don't think he'll play the very sensitive short angle. No, I think he's going every off, off the yellow rather. Every shot will start with the yellow ball here. Yes. Now that yellow has found a place very deep in the corner. Is this line on? No, I think so. He thinks it is. Yeah, you normally you have a lot of marge margin on this one. Speed. My goodness, he almost made it long. So it was easier than it looked like. I was wondering if he could get there and he almost made it long. Jumps out of the first rail. Second rail, rather. Two options here. You can go to short cushion first or long cushion. Goes to the long, some extra speed, makes the cue ball spin off the third cushion nicely. And now it looks like we are closing up. 46.30 and it looks as if the mountain is too high to climb for sale. Did, did make a match of it. It's still yes. a match, but uh, I think now difficult for so to even shoot again. But we have to commend him on a fantastic tournament. He's going to be around. He's going to be a presence. He went unbeaten in the group with Tastemir and Merckx. Unbelievable. Who could have predicted that group? So Manja and So advancing Merckx and Tastemir out. Nobody had predicted that one. We know he plays really well with the left hand. Let's see how he does with the bridge. It's going to slide by. Yeah, but he's happy with the run of five and a good safety shot. Yes. I 
I don't even know what Seo is going to play. I think long, long short of the red is on. Not sure. Maybe not. And if that one is impossible, what then? He's going to try to go across the table, off the red. I hate these shots. Just hate them. Full into the kiss. F even for him, too difficult. Yeah, a little wayward stroking there again. And, and he knows it's almost over. Yeah, he left the three cushion here. Bungo needs to find the corner. And he does. Perfectly played. Playing for two. And he will still, if he makes three now, he still averages two. Although he had a pretty, pretty obvious dip after the fantastic start. That's a kiss we've seen before, all of us. And is he lucky again? Uh, yeah. Some beautiful flukes he has had in this match. Enormous ones. And it's nice to see that his opponent can smile about it. He knows he has lost the match. Almost lost the match. This was not a nice shot, by the way. Not a good, not a good shot from Cho. Maybe, maybe Chang Hon gets another inning. Long, long short for the match. One more chance. Make no. a few points, Mr. Mr. So. Full attack. Five cushions off the white, slowly for position. If it's on. This is one of the <coughs> best position shots. Scoring slowly there on the red. Always has a good position. He'll be happy with this. Plenty of options. There's a shot off the white, there's a shot off the red. As he pleases. Oh, that was close. It looked like good judgment and good speed, but yeah, so. I'm surprised to see this slide past. It looked speedy enough to have some carry, some bounce on the last short rail, but not enough. Second bite at the cherry. <laughs> For Myung Wu, one point needed. No. Just long. So he has to wait a little bit longer to play his first final? Or will he? A run of 18, that's a big ask. Or two runs of nine, it's the same. Only then you need a miss from your opponent in between.
not the perfect spot for the right, but uh, for the red. But he can still go short, long, long off the right side of the white. So doing that, the red ball is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a decent target. Just a little extra thin to get out of all kisses. And he did solve the kiss problem, but he made it long. He made a little mess of that shot. Too much draw and then the spin developed on the second cushion and got lost. But he is, uh, he is older than Cho, but he's probably younger as a three-cushion player, so still has a lot of time to adjust little mistakes in his game. It looks like they both have about 12 years in the game, something like that. But I think Cho is the, the one who has been playing more, like seven, eight hours a day. And that's what you need to become a fully developed player. Spend all these hours. Assuming that Cho does indeed win, we are going to have a very interesting final a replay of the group match between Dani Sanchez and Myung Woo Cho. We've mentioned it already. Sanchez leading 37-30 and... Cho running out with a really excellent run of 10. A couple of difficult shots in that run. So Sanchez knows what he's up against. But so does Cho. It's a great, uh, great friendship relation between the two of them yeah, as well. Like, they like each other a lot. So that's good. Ticky here for the match, he will make this. Fiftieth and final point, Myung Woo Cho beats his countryman Chang Hon Seo. Fifty points to thirty-three in twenty-eight innings. We hope you will stay with us because the final will be coming up in what? About an hour? Hour and a half? Tobyorn? I'm not quite sure what time it is, but... It's in exactly two hours. Two hours, okay. Follow us on the 5 and 6 channel on YouTube for the final between Sanchez and Joe from Sharm El-Sheikh. Thank you for watching. See you.